Welcome back to the Heart Five Question Series. Today we're joined by Sir Bruce Keogh, who is the National Medical Director of the NHS Commissioning Board in the UK. He's joining us for a Heart Forum to talk about taking action on performance measurement. In the NHS we've had a series of measures which have contributed to massive change. They tend to be around issues of clinical effectiveness, safety or patient experience. And to give you a couple of examples, ones which have made real change have been um, a measurement of hospital acquired infections, uh, particularly MISA, which was a, a, an issue of enormous public concern a few years ago. Another area has been waiting times in emergency departments and another area waiting times for um, for surgery in general. There is a tendency among people running big systems to try and measure everything. One of the things we've tried to do is reduce the number of things that we pay serious attention to. And I was asked at one point by our Secretary of State to go away and think about how we could turn clinical outcomes into the currency of the National Health Service. And um, one of the smart civil servants that I uh, work with rang up and said, he said, I think I've got it. He said, there are five things that a healthcare system should do well. Um, and he said it applies to any healthcare system. First, you should stop you dying prematurely for things that it can stop, such as stroke, heart attack, measles. Um, secondly, it should look after you well if you have a long-term condition. Thirdly, it should look after you well if you need a short episode of care, such as a broken leg, cataract operation. Fourthly, it should uh, treat you uh, safely. And by safely, I mean people accept that their disease has got a risk, they, they accept the treatment's got a risk, and they make a trade-off in their own minds about whether the treatment's worth it. What they should never have to be thinking about is that things would be different if you delivered your service differently. So they expect that you deliver it in the most effective way. And then finally, the fifth area is that um, we ought to offer a service that's, that's dignified and as pleasant as possible for the patient. Now, all of those five things fit into the three domains of quality which in the NHS we've enshrined in law. The first three fit in the realm of clinical effectiveness, uh, the next one fits in the realm of delivering safe care and the final one fits in the realm of uh, delivering a positive patient experience. And all of those are measurable. So we've tried to focus on some very high national levers, uh, national measures in each one of those uh, five domains. And we've tried to keep the number down to 50. Um, I haven't been able to fight that off. It's crept up to 60 measures now, but we don't think you need much more than that. If you go back to Florence Nightingale's time, she was not only a nurse, but she was a well-known statistician of the day. And she started to measure surgical outcomes of London hospitals, which seemed all very well. And then the moment she died, the um, the tables of performance simply disappeared off the horizon amidst claims that the data was dodgy, gaming was going on and people were being transferred out of hospital just before they died. And that argument still prevails today in the measurement of, uh, of clinical outcomes. So even when you've given a lot of thought to getting the right measures, it can take time before you you understand what the perverse incentives are that creep in to undermine those measures. So the first thing you've, you've got to have is a responsive system that looks at data in a timely fashion. The second thing you've got to have is decent statistical analysis which enables you to determine whether the variation you see is real or not and there are various statistical methods for doing that and then finally you need a system that 
responds. And in particular, in my mind, rewards organizations that are doing well, uh, but equally applies sanctions to those organizations that aren't. There is a risk in many of uh, these endeavors that the focus is always on the poorly performing organization. And if a healthcare system just focuses on the poorly performing organization, it ignores the cutting edge, the people who are doing really well at its own peril.